Ebusia fo ni tie fo ni die kwanso me ma obi bia akwa baba channel sai daily update tv ni die kwanso sai na no first baba channel so me so so tie news ni we na so ni jo best subscribe for more update obe like no a share news no so ma love say ni bi etie yakopo nsha no nyoke sin patcho wo comment bi so constructively fa che comment section ye be je ni akin kan sa section on box me na wona ye wo die ntino me patcho ajin share bi a wo bia betim dia share na me patcho wo mahama na wako abi fuseni abs mp mp a a honabo abi fuseni ni constituency na they are building Ghana together to now. Now, I'm Eddie Mahama Kupio. Now, we the Afrijan, former East Afrijan, we Pio. I was joining Mahama Pa. We hold him. Now, yes, I was joining physically. They don't know. But in Simbi or Kachere, Andy, since Mahama, some years back, no. Anna, eh, Abba. Since some years, Andy, if I remind you, Omo, Omo, Kasi, Yekaise, Afrijan, Kasi, now since and some Afrijan Kachere, Omo. Anna, we must remind you, Omo, we hold him. Now, it's Afrijan. We are joining Omo in words. While joining Mahama in the campaign, in paying words, if not physically. You know, um, in some break course, in today, I mean, some break. But when you could see, um, audio, you know, so say them, I can hear video. You know, when you go share video, you know, share the way I'm on common. No, as a call, you in some day, I'm not can be part. You know, when you go see, you know, put in channel on your case. That's very, very. Hey, hey, Jesus, hey, Jesus, hey, Jesus. Eyeza, MFA, Your Excellency, Leader and Flag Bearer of the NDC, and Inshallah, the incoming President of the Republic of Ghana. The General Secretary of the Party, other functional and national executive committee members, members of Parliament present and parliamentary candidates across sister constituencies. Fellow students, media, ladies and gentlemen, we are pleased to welcome His Excellency John Dramani Mahama and the team to our beloved constituency at the Batko Auditorium. Your Excellency, let me begin by first of all thanking you so much and Prof. Mills of blessed memory for giving us our constituency and the district. Not only that, as a sequel, you made the first MP, who is still our MP in the person of Honorable APA Fuseni, the Deputy Minister for Northern Region. <laughs> Mr. President, during the first four years of his tenure, that is between 2013 to 2016, Sanargo constituency achieved 100% electricity coverage and water. Your Excellency, it is our hope anytime NDC is in government, Sanargo gets his fair share of the national cake. And our prayer is that we have only two challenges left. And I trust that when you become president once again, you'll be able to deliver it for us. That is our road networks and part of youth unemployment is a problem. Now let me come back to my colleague students. The country is in a mood for change. As young people and finance brains of our party gathered in here today, our task is simple. How do we convert the mood for change into votes? That is what matters now. All these gatherings that we are doing will be meaningless until the final box is counted and declared for His Excellency John Dramani Mahama. Hey, for me, I know I have two advice for my student colleagues and also to our party executives. There are two ways we can use to win the election without even difficulty. The first is, I'll call it the political machine. What I'm trying to say here is that this year, fortunately, our campaign messages are resonating well with Ghanaians already. The most famous 24-hour economy. Please, become ambassadors for change. When you go back to your hometowns, when you go back to your classrooms, when you meet your peers, Please sell the campaign message of His Excellency John Dramani Mahama in the NDC. 
Our message is a product that can easily be sold and bought by Ghanaians. And I'm sure that when we go back to our constituencies and try to replicate similar events like this and champion door-to-door -door campaigns in the name of John Dramani Mahama and our parliamentary candidates, I am sure victory will be ours by December 7th. Hey, the second thing I will advise is that as part of the political machine, NDC is the only political party that respects diversification. NDC is a party that does not discriminate against age, religion, occupation, or gender. Please, in the formation of our constituency and regional campaign teams, we must identify all stakeholder mappings and jointly build a robust and inclusive campaign team that can resonate the people's aspirations. ASU, my final point before I sit down is that oftentimes we think that polling agents is left for people who are not educated or it is a minor job or it is for foot soldiers. Please, the destiny of over 6 million Ghanaians are in the hands of our executives. Let's not joke with it. Dr. Farijan and the Supreme Court reminded us in 2013 and in 2016 that elections are won at the polling station. Please, let's adopt our polling stations. All constituency executives and regional executives, on election day, don't be at one point. Make sure that you protect your constituency, you protect your region, and victory shall be ours. And let me use this one to, to send a caution to the MPP that they dare not dream of any day annexing the San Argo constituency. San Argo shall remain green. San Argo constituency shall remain green today. It will remain green tomorrow. It will remain green forever. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you, parliamentary candidate for Sanargu constituency. In our program, our biggest enemy, our biggest opponents are not the NPP. And there's history to show that when we worked together and when we harnessed our resources and defended the NDC the way we had to defend and educated the people about the, wealth, the, the, wealth, the, the goodness of the NDC and did not fight ourselves, the NPP had only two seats in Northern Region. And Northern Region was considered the World Bank, one of the World Banks of the NDC. But since we stopped advocating our good works as a party in this region and concentrated on ourselves and stopped fighting the NPP and rather concentrated on fighting ourselves, the NPP started gaining majority in the Northern Region. Not majority of votes yet, but the challenge for us in this year's election is for us to push the NPP back and retrieve the seeds that we have lost to them. And the only way we can do that, we already know that the NDC represents inclusion, the NDC represents diversity, the NDC represents development, progress and growth. And there is evidence to show that our, forefa our fathers and our grandfathers did not support the NDC for supporting sake. They supported the NDC because it delivered to their needs. The most important bridges that you will find in Northern Region that connect towns to each other were constructed by the NDC. Our enduring regional hospital is re was renovated and expanded by the, the NDC. Our Tamale Town Roads and the roads that link us to the Upper East Region and even to the Southern Region was, were constructed by the NDC. Even in the area of education, the University for Development Studies is a testimony of NDC's contribution to, ND, to the growth of this region. If you talk about electricity expansion and its extension across the country, the NDC is the, is the party that extended electricity to this place. And so whatever product comes out of that electricity, thanks to the NDC. And so these were the reasons that our fathers and our grandfathers supported the NDC, because they knew that the NDC delivered to their needs. 
The Tamale International Airport today serves to the pride of everybody who calls himself a Nordner. Whether you are from the Upper East or the Upper West, the Tamale International Airport serves to the pride of everybody. Especially to us Muslims, it has become easier for us to undertake the Hajj pilgrimage because of this legacy that the NDC has left. And so, for us in this election, it is time to get back to our roots and go back to do the things that our uncles used to do. Let us get our loins. Let us unite and let us make sure that everybody's contribution is acknowledged and appreciated. And that way, we can push the NPP back to where they belong. And we can reclaim the Northern region as a stronghold of the NDC. Because it will be a shame, it will be a shame when what God has decreed, God has decreed, inshallah, that His Excellency John Dramani Mahama is going to be the next president of the Republic of Ghana. But wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. It will be a shame, it will be a shame on you and I when the victory is declared and our contribution is nothing to write home about as Northern region, especially when His Excellency the President prides and brags about the fact that he was raised in Northern region and he, he considers Northern region as his home region. Let us not dare to disgrace and disappoint him because that victory will surely come. And when that victory comes, let Northern region be counted as one of the greatest contributors to that victory. Jesus, finally, let me assure you that His Excellency is an honest person. He is a thinker. He is a visionary leader. And I am not just using words. He has demonstrated it before. When he was leading, we encountered a number of people who thought that they could deceive you and they succeeded. They promised you heaven on earth. They promised you jobs that will come through the factories they were going to build in every district. That we have not seen. They promise to restore your teacher allowances. They promise to restore your nurses allowances. Today, the information we have is that you do not even know the number of months that you are owed the allowance. Yet, I do know that for Tamalit Training Teacher College, for example, this, this year, over a thousand qualified students applied for admission into Tamale Training College. Over a thousand qualified students. Yet, the government gave TATCO a quota of just 300 people. So, as a result of this lie of paying Alawa, they have denied over 700 people the opportunity of getting trained to become teachers. And I am assuring you that His Excellency John Dramani Mahama is not a man who will, who will promise what he will not deliver. Because when he promises, he delivers. When he promised the people of Northern Region the teaching hospital expansion, he delivered. When the NDC promised to bring medical training to the UDS, they delivered. When they promised to build the teaching ho the, the Tamale Airport, they delivered. And I assure you, all these projects that have been delivered have contributed to contribute to creating jobs for people. Because when you go to the clinics and the hospitals and the airport, people have had jobs there and they are working. And I assure you, there are bigger things ahead, especially with the 24-hour economy and other visionary you know, policies that will be introduced. I thank you and I'm counting on you to deliver to the pride of everybody. God bless you. When the house has fallen, you don't ask whether the roof is still standing. Hey, Yazoo. The man who has died in the market does not need a funeral announcement. So today, Ghanaians are waiting I can say impatiently, for the NDC to come back to power and rescue the sinking country under the hopelessly uninspiring and incompetent government of Nana Akubwado and Dr. Baumia. So, Mr. President, I want to assure you, Sanarugu.
from its inception in 2012 has been the World Bank of the NDC in the Northern Region. Now let me clarify what I mean by the World well Bank. I am not saying in terms of numerical strength, but I'm talking about the percentage and quantum of votes registered by Sandaru constituency. And in the first year of the creation of the Sandaru constituency, we registered almost about 82% of the vote for your Excellency President John Dramani Mahama. I want to assure you that by the grace of Allah, Inshallah, 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 on December 7th, when the ballots are opened and counted, Your Excellency the President, we shall give you 90% of the vote in Saudi Arabia. Your Excellency, I want to also stand here and assure you, by the grace of Allah Almighty, the Saudi Arabia constituency has come to stay with the NDC perpetually. It is never going anywhere. We are going to retain, Your Excellency, we are going to retain the Saudi Arabia constituency and our brother, Ataisa will remain will be sat as a member of parliament. Your Excellency, I want to say here that the Sanaru constituency, MPP making any gains in Sanaru constituency, is as good as saying that a fish that has been caught, that has been smoked, that has been dried, and is in the stall for sale. It is easier for that fish to walk back to the sea than for the MPP to come back to power in the jail. Ayesu, Your Excellency, I say this. They say that when the mad fish comes to tell you that the crocodile has belly ache, he knows what he's talking about. I want to take this opportunity, Your Excellency, to thank you so much. In fact, I wish I could quantify the size of my thanks. Except that I'm allergic to a certain animal. So I'll say, we want to thank you, hippopotamusly. <laughs> your Excellency, when you made me your Deputy Minister in this region, and by the kind courtesy of the good people of the Sanaru Constituency, who saw me be fitting enough to be the first member of parliament for the constituency. Sanarwu, together with my colleagues in the party and our uh, uh, district chief executives, worked conscientiously and so hard that within the first two years, Your Excellency, about 24, 25 communities that had no life. Indeed, I can boast and say it on record and let anybody go and check. Nowhere in, the, in this country has the pace of electrification gone on then in the Sardaru constituency? In the first two years as member of parliament, we had about 25 communities that since the birth, since creation, they had never seen electricity light. I took this problem to His Excellency President John Dramani Mahama. And for somebody who has been a long time father, friend for me, He did not miss West. He opened the floodgates to me. And I can tell you that in my first two years as member of parliament, Sanarwu completed all his electrification at Yeta. This is unprecedented development. So was it together with the district executives and others, we extended portable water to all areas in Sanarwu constituency. Your Excellency, I cannot count the number of six and three classroom blocks There were children walking to school in Sanaru Constituency. We built schools in those areas where they were lacking. Indeed, we set the pace by providing computers and computer literacy was taught to our children in the villages in the Sanaru Constituency. So, Your Excellency, as for the NDC, when we say that this thing is a mail, we are holding it by the balls. So, I have no doubt in my mind that if even we relegate this year's election to the context of who has done more for the people of the Sandaru constituency and for the northern region in Ghana, it is going to be like a race between a horse and a donkey. It is comparison that disgraces the donkey. And I'm happy that in this year's election, we are going to go by records. The MPP and Dr. Baunyam 
And I've said it to every one of you here. One of the important tests of leadership, before you pick a leader, endeavor to test the leader and see whether he's truthful. Whether truth emits from his mouth, whether the leader can keep his word, whether the leader is faithful to the oath of office he has won. I can say without any out of doubt, when you make the comparison between President John Draman and Mahama, and the, the new inexperienced try me and see candidate of the MPP. Ghanaians, <laughs> and I'm, 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 I'm reminding you about this. You remember in 2016 when Anakufado was coming, he said we should try him and see. So, a try and error government.